Doesn't pretty much everything make us horny? <laughs> Cartoons make me horny. After that, 70s shows spawned the careers of Topher Grace, Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, Laura Preppen, Danny Masterson, and Wilmer Valderrama. When God gives you a cake, you gotta kill a virgin. After that, 70s show introduced us to catchphrases such as... You son of a... <laughs> and... How would you like your keen eye to watch my sure foot kick your smart ass? After Robot Chicken was giving that 70s show a modern day twist... As you've seen tonight, the precious trappings of our material-obsessed existence become the sitcom fodder of the future. So hey, please remember, try not to be such a bag. That 70s show has been off the air for well over a decade now, believe it or not. Beginning its run in 1998, the Fox sitcom enjoyed eight seasons of steady ratings before ending in 2006. With over 200 episodes, it became the studio's second longest-running live-action sitcom since Married with Children. Featuring disco throwbacks, plenty of bell bottoms, and enough pot smoking scenes to give you the munchies, the show chronicles the adventures of teenager Eric Foreman and his friends, Kelso, Hyde, Jackie, Fez, along with his girlfriend Donna. We also get to know and love Eric's parents, Red and Kitty. When Red threatened to put his foot up there, you know where, we felt like it was happening to us. Now that's love. Since the show's finale, the cast has gone on to do their own work and it's a mixed bag. Many have gone to continue in film, TV, and even music. One's business investments have given him an estimated net worth over $200 million. Two have starred in Oscar-nominated films. Two are also active Scientologists. Another has a storied history on TV that includes a hilarious short-lived show that involved the hardest Yo Mama disses you've ever heard. But on a darker note, there's been plenty of drama including drug addiction, assault allegations, and even a death. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? We're taking a look at the star-studded cast of that 70s show and what they're all up to these days. I mean, maybe you know a bit about what Kelso and Jackie are up to, but what about Red? If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know in the comments who you want us to document next. How about some Nickelodeon shows? They have some crazy stories. Anyways, let's get into this video. <laughs> I have no idea whose panties those are. Those panties are mine. Eric! Oh! You are a god! Topher Grace, who played the lead role of Eric Foreman, has gone on to have a pretty successful career since the show's finale in 2006. One of the actor's most notable roles is one that has sadly been bashed almost universally, but is still fun to watch. In 2007, Topher took the role of disgraced photographer Eddie Brock in Spider-Man 3. While the movie itself suffered from backlash, no actor seemed to have gotten more heat than Topher for his performance. Critics and audiences alike considered it a giant miscast. Since then, he's seen supporting roles in films such as 2010's Predators, Interstellar, American Ultra, and the Netflix film War Machine. He drew critical praise in 2018 for his portrayal trail of white supremacist David Duke in Spike Lee's Oscar smash Black Klansman. In the world of television, the now 42-year-old actors appeared in The Simpsons, Drunk History, and Workaholics. As for his personal life, well, Topher has been married to actress Ashley Hinshaw since 2016, and they have two children. Oh my god! I can feel like all the molecules in my body. <laughs> I'm gonna count them. Laura Preppen, who played the role of Eric's girlfriend Donna, has found success primarily on television. The actress has shaken her teen image from that 70s show, and was also well known as drug smuggling convict Alex Vouse on Netflix Orange is the New Black, which only wrapped up in 2019. Her performance of Alex has earned her several award nods. In 2014, she picked up a Satellite Award for Best Supporting Actress. As for other appearances, Laura can be seen on three episodes of How I Met Your Mother. She also appeared in the role of Kathy in the 2016 hit The Girl on the Train. In 2017, she starred alongside Sam Elliott in the Sundance indie The Hero. She was even on an episode of Celebrity Ghost Stories. Laura and fellow actor Ben Foster have two children together, and the couple married in 2018. Laura is also an outspoken Scientologist. Throughout her career, the actress has received criticism in the mainstream for her affiliation with the religion. During her absence in season 2 of Orange is the New Black, many online conspiracy theorists believe the religion was unhappy with the actress as her character of Alex is a lesbian. Laura set the record straight in an interview where she stated, I've been a Scientologist since 1999 and I've never come across any piece of information that remotely is negative or derogatory in any way towards the LGBT community. They are an amazing fan base. Sorry man, but I love her. Yes, but you don't deserve it, you son of a... 
our Valderrama, who played the famous character of Fez, the foreign guy, has found himself in several different ventures since that 70s show's final episode. He has enjoyed roles on Grey's Anatomy, The Cleveland Show, as well as the TV version of Minority Report. But as for his most legendary gig... An apple? It's my candy, you son of a... Wilmer was the host of 2006 to 2007 MTV show Yo Mama. Point of the show, two battlers go toe to toe dissing each other's moms. Wilmer wouldn't diss anyone's mom himself, he'd just kind of stand and watch. He also appears to have done extensive work on 2018's USO holiday tour. These days on TV, Wilmer enjoys a role as Nick Torres on NCIS. He's also appeared on Netflix The Ranch, reuniting him with old castmates Ashton Kutcher and Danny Masterson. Wilmer has had high profile celebrity relationships the likes of Lindsay Lohan and Demi Lovato. While he and Demi are no longer together these days, Demi has come out saying that during their six year relationship, Wilmer supported her throughout her drug addiction. Wilmer and his current fiance Amanda Pacheco are now expecting their first child. Like there's this guy who invented this car that runs on water, man. It's got a fiberglass air-cooled engine and it runs on water. Danny Masterson, who played the role of Stephen Hyde, went on to star alongside Ashton Kutcher as Jameson Rooster Bennett on The Ranch. Danny has also ventured into the world of DJing. While he started in the 90s under the name DJ Donkey Punch, he now goes by the name of DJ Mom Jeans. This name was inspired from spending time on the set of that 70s show, where all the female characters were forced to wear mom jeans on set. Danny also appears to be a poker fanatic, who has hosted several poker events himself. Danny has four other siblings, including his brother Chris, who you probably know from Malcolm in the Middle, and his two half-siblings, Jordan and Alana, are also in showbiz. As for his personal life, well, it's been pretty rough. In March of 2017, accusations surfaced of Danny committing sexual assault against four separate women. A fifth came forward that December. While he hadn't been charged or arrested, Danny's character was written off the ranch. He was also dropped by his agent. Like Laura Preppin, Danny is a Scientologist. A New York rescue workers charity the actor is a member of is also known for its ties to the religion. Everybody's favorite actress slash former Scientologist Leia Remini has been paying attention to Danny's assault allegations. An episode of her show Scientology and the Aftermath was supposed to be focused on these stories, but was shelved after Danny's accusers were harassed online. In 2011, Danny married actress Bijou Phillips after six years of dating. Their daughter, Fiona, was born in 2014. Hey, Michael. I'm really glad you're here. <gasps> okay, time to go to sleep. Oh, sleep. As for Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, who played boyfriend and girlfriend Kelso and Jackie, well, these two got hitched, as I'm sure you know. Ashton and Mila have two children together, a daughter named Wyatt Isabel and a son named Dimitri Portwood. After the show finished in 2006, Ashton continued to be a leading man. Not on hit shows like MTV's Punk, he actually starred in several lackluster movies, his most notable of which was perhaps Jobs, where the actor took his turn depicting Steve Jobs. The film was a failure critically and financially. With the exception of his role as Colt Bennett on The Ranch and his replacement of Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men, Ashton has stayed relatively quiet in entertainment the last couple years, aside from some rom-coms too. He apparently focused a little more on stacking some bank. The actors invested money into approximately 60 different companies. These include Skype, Airbnb, and Foursquare. As for Mila Kunis, well in 2010, she starred in the Oscar-nominated horror film Black Swan. In the film, Mila starred alongside Natalie Portman as a ballerina, a role she trained over six months for. She's also made a name for herself as the voice of Meg on Family Guy. You could say that Mila has enjoyed the most successful film career out of all that 70s show cast members. You've definitely seen her in movies like Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Friends with Benefits, Ted, and Bad Moms. Talking about her career and the various roles that she's enjoyed, she stated, Doing that 70s show for eight years and now Family Guy has given me the luxury to not have to work for the sake of working. I don't have to do movies anymore that I'm not necessarily proud of. I am, knock on wood, in a fantastic position in my life when it comes to security. And given today's economy, having financial security is a blessing to say the least. So I'm allowed to be picky with the projects I choose, and having that luxury in the industry is not very common. By the looks of it, Mila isn't a social media fanatic at all, and when asked why, she explained that she's never exactly understood and is turned off by how ugly people can be to each other. Shouldn't you put some clothes on? Why? Aren't you a little cold? No. In fact, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, well then why don't you go upstairs? Lisa Robin Kelly played the role of Lori Foreman, Eric's older sister. Her story is unfortunately the most tragic of those we'll be talking about. Departing from the show after season three, Lisa got into quite a bit of legal trouble. Around 2010, she was pulled over drunk driving, which resulted in a probation sentence of 12 months. This only resulted in another arrest a couple years later due to a domestic incident. Due to lack of evidence, they were forced to drop the charges. Lisa eventually married a man who was 19 years her senior. They were both arrested for another domestic disturbance and charged with assault. Kelly was arrested a fourth time after cops found her car parked on the freeway. On August 15, 2013, Lisa died in her sleep after checking into a rehab clinic in California. Well, just because you can have a baby doesn't mean you should. I have a snowblower, but I don't use it in July. Kurt Wood Smith, who played Eric's dad, Red, is still working in film and TV with roles on 24, Rick and Morty, Tim and Eric. He currently lives in Glendale, California, where he celebrated the 30th anniversary with his wife in November 2018. Making a couple guest appearances on the ranch, he was reunited with cast members Ashton, Danny, and even Mila Kunis, who was on set with her children. <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself? I'm starving. Deborah Jo Rupp, who played Eric's mom, Kitty, while well, she has had what looks to be an incredible career on stage. Judging by photos on her Instagram, she's even reunited on stage with Kurtwood Smith. Deborah's apparently a devout Methodist who now lives in an area known as the Berkshires in Massachusetts. She has never married and doesn't have children. All right, I think I'll bring this where are they now to an end right there. After checking out the cast members of That 70s Show, what did you guys think? If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to let me know who's next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all next time. Bye.